What's going on guys, this is Games Gaming. Today we are going to be going over the new Christmas event that is in the game. I wasn't able to make a video when it first came out just because I had a lot going on at work, but today I wanted to go over some tips and tricks on what you can do as a free to play or low spend player in order to get the most out of this event. So as a lot of you guys know, this is the biggest part of the event. This is the usual 7,000 gem event that comes around every once in a while, typically around holidays. This is the best event in the game for your gems, in my opinion. You get so many rewards here just for spending 7,000 gems. The first tier alone of the five legendary commander sculptures is worth more than 7,000 gems when you go to the VIP shop because if you buy them straight from the VIP shop, your legendary commander sculptures are gonna be 2,000 gems per head. And so already this event is giving you five legendary commander sculptures for 7,000 gems. And that's only if you do the first level. So as you go further and further, you get 500 gems here, you get some materials, you get some stars, you get tons of resources. And the best thing about this is if you max out all the way to the top, you get all of your gems back. And that is why this is the best event in the game, because you can literally get all of this stuff completely free. And what I'm going to do today is show you guys how to get this for free without having to spend money in the shop here. So you can also buy the Christmas invite in order to get more snowballs but you are not going to need to do this if you want to do it free to play. So if you're worried about not being able to finish the event and getting all the awards for your 7,000 gems, don't worry, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to best optimize your account in order to get 7,000 gem unlock. So first, we want to talk about how to get the snowballs. So if we go right over here, you can see you get it through map collection. So when you go and get resources from the map, you can get more stockings and stockings unlock snowballs. You can also get it through city collection. So whenever you collect from your city, so you can see when I collect here, I did receive some stockings. So I can claim these, just got a couple stockings there. And then finally, when you defeat barbarians, you can also get stockings. This is gonna be where you get most of your stockings from. And some of the marches that I would recommend, I have a couple of them out of my city right now, but one of the first ones I would recommend if you have YSG maxed out, or even if you just have YSG, the first march I would bring is Lohar and YSG. The reason why is because Lohar is going to be healing you as you go. And so if I go over here and I hit this level 20 barbarian, Lohar is going to get his first skill in, and then YSG is going to do his circle AoE. And so if you are able to, you're going to want to chain Barbarians. And I do have a video on that, so I will put that in the description as well if you want to check that out. But he's going to do his first cycle, and then YSG is going to follow. And then as you can see, he just healed all the way back to full health. So that is why I would bring Lohar YSG to start with. If you do not have YSG, you can bring Lohar with a ton of other commanders that do AoE damage. And some of the ones here that I would recommend would be Ethelfled. You could also use her as primary. You can also use Kusanoki. He is an archer commander that does AoE damage. Similar to Kira, she also does AoE damage. And so if you wanted to, you could put any of those commanders with your Lohar. And then another commander you can use that I just didn't have room to take out. In a KVK2, you can use Sun Tzu, he does AoE. You can use Baybars, he also does AoE. Mehmed is also one that does AoE damage in a fan-shaped area. And so again, you can hit up to five targets on all these marches. And so that is going to be the best way in order to trigger as many Barbarians as you can. Right here, for example, is a good way to hit Barbarians because you are going to pick up both of these barbarians at the same time and you can get more of the stockings and so i have been aoe barb farming for the last day or two so i haven't spent any of my action points i am actually saving those for our pre kvk that's going to be coming up and that is one thing that i am very lucky about is that our pre kvk is starting in about two days 
on the 26th and so I'm actually going to be using my AP on the mortars but I am pretty sure that if you hit a mortar it is going to count as a barbarian and so you are still going to get the stockings from doing that which is if so if you are going into your pre-kvk here soon as well you are also very very lucky where you can destroy the mortars and get the stockings at the same time and i'm fairly certain that that's how it's going to be in this event so if i go over into my stockings i have 245 right now and so as you can see when you open one you can get between one and three i just got three there so we're going to open up all of these here so we and so as you can see when you open one you can get between one and three i just got three there so we're going to open up all of these here so we just got 366 snowballs by using 24 stockings so that comes out to be about probably one and a half per stocking so on average it isn't going to be closer to that five that lilith is obviously going to make you work a little bit for the stockings but now we are able to go into our magic snowman. We have 412 snowballs able to put into the snowman. And so I am going to put this in. And so it does take a while to um, put in all of your snowballs, but one thing people don't know is you can just hold down your finger or hold down the button if you're on a computer and it will go a lot faster than having to tap 400 times. And as you continue to level up the snowman, as you can see, he is like adding some extra stuff. I think he just got like a hat and a couple gifts right next to him. So as you level up your snowman, he does change a little bit. I'm curious to see what he looks like at the very, very end. But I guess we'll find that out real soon. So we got about 130 more here to put in. We'll see if we get another upgrade on the snowman. And there are 25 levels in order to upgrade the snowman. As you can see, he just upgraded again. Now he has a little crown, some gloves, and a scarf. All right, so we just got up to level 14. So let's check out what we got. We got the little gift thing. And one thing I wanted to also shout out, a couple people sent me some gifts. Um, the way you do that is by going to your VIP shop. You click on this little gift here. So as you can see, I now have one of the Christmas invites that I can send. So I can send any one of my alliance some VIP, speed ups, materials, some reserves, stars. Um, these are also really good, the enhanced defense and attack. I will be sending somebody some equipment just because I know that's what everybody wants. That's what I wanted. But I just wanted to shout out a couple people who sent me some gifts. So Kataket, thank you for the materials. Lord Death, thank you for the materials. And then Kataket again. Wow, thank you. So I got nine blue materials here. And so that comes out to bring me up to 195. I will be doing a crafting video here sometime soon before we go into our KVK. I am also um, in Osiris League right now. If you guys haven't checked out the, the live stream that I did, um, feel free to go to my channel and check that out. Uh, we also like I said, are going into KVK. So I have a couple a couple pieces of equipment that I'm going to be crafting. Right now, for sure, I'm going to be crafting Navarro's Control, but I'm still uh, kind of looking around to see what else I want to craft. I did want to get a Dragon's Breath plate. I did not have the blueprints for it yet, and so I might hold off on that, but I am trying to kind of upgrade my Archer equipment. Right now I have all purples, I can refine this, but I'm not using him right now, so I don't really have any reason to, so I'll do that in the crafting video as well. But I am trying to kind of upgrade my archer and cavalry mar marches. So right now I am an infantry player, and so my infantry set is going to be the best for me, but I kind of want to upgrade my other sets as well. Now I've been producing a lot more leather over the stone, just because I'm trying to uh, use as little of my material plate of my material choice chest here as possible just because I want to save those up for crafting in the future and so I've been just producing materials 24 7 as everyone else should be but those are going to be coming in a future video as well as you can see my snowballs finally just stopped producing uh, just because I held it down 400 times so I had to alert me 400 times in order to do that 
And so now we are going to kind of check out what else we got here. Got some XP, got some silver keys, speed ups, gold key, some resources, more experience, speed up stars. So as you can see, as you get further down, the rewards get even better. Some more resources, we get a decorative building. So I know a lot of people like those decorations. So this is another way you can get one of those. You can also get some achievements for building those as well. So if you're chasing achievement points, that's a great way to get it. Uh, some more speed ups and stars. And as you can see, the next one we get is 500 gems. And as we get further down, we have a 10 legendary commander sculpture, 1000 gems, and then five gold keys as well. So now we are going to unlock 7,000 gem tier. So we're gonna confirm that. And it's going to automatically unlock those for us. So we can see we get 1,000 gems. So we already got 1,000 gems back. Got five golden keys, some building speed ups that will be turned into training speed ups when I get into pre KVK, research speed ups that I can use for season of conquest when I get back there, some experience that I do not need, <laughs> some equipment material chests, which is great. Some stars, can't get enough of those for me. Uh, and then finally some legendary commander sculptures. So that is what I unlocked from that tier. And you can also unlock the $10 tier if you are spending in the game. Of course, as I said, you do not need to spend in the game in order to get all the tiers. I've gotten to level 25 every single time without having to spend. But if you are spending, there are some ways you can kind of optimize your spending. Right now, we do have a recharge event. So as you spend 2,500 gems, you can unlock these tier of rewards. And if you are spending in the game, this is going to be the best time to spend. Just because you are getting more than what you're buying here in the bundles, you are actually getting extra rewards, you're getting some material chests, later on you're getting commander sculptures. So if you max all these out every single day, so you spend 2,500 gems every single day, you're going to get 10 legendary commander sculptures, another 10 legendary, and another 10. So you're getting 30 legendary commander sculptures, you're getting tons of stars, and then you are also getting a ton of materials as well. You also get a skill reset here, which as you guys know, we do not have any other way to get a hold of right now. Uh, I'm hoping they're putting them in the Alliance shop at some point because right now, right now we do have the talent reset in the shop that we can do, but right now we do not have the skill reset just because that's a much more premium thing to have. And one reason why it is premium is because you can reset your skills. And so on commanders like Guan Yu, I used, I think, three of my skill resets on Guan, trying to get him to 5155. I got him to 5245, and that was close enough for me at the time in order to get him as close as I can to that 5155, just because that second skill is just for attacking strongholds and cities, which he is great for swarming stuff, but I use him mostly in the open field, and so I just wanted those, the first, third, and fourth skill as high up as I could. One other way that you can get snowmen besides spending and besides doing barbarians and resource gathering, collecting your city, is going to be using the Frost Covenant event. That is going to be the typical five day event where you can log in, you get snowmen, you can collect resources, get snowmen, and then increase your power through technology and you get snowmen. There are five different days of different events and so there is going to be one day of buying from the courier station. I believe that's going to be day four. Day two is for defeating barbarians. So as you can see, I have AoE'd 167 barbarians. So you need to get 300 in order to get all the snowmen. Day three is going to be rallying barbarian forts. So try to get the barbarians done by day three so that you can finish those rallies on day three. And then also consuming 5,000 action points I'm at about 4,000 right now, so that's gonna be pretty easy to complete. And then increasing troop power is another one. Again, I am coming into a pre-KVK, so increasing by 100,000 power is gonna be very easy for me. I have about, I have quite a bit of troops being trained right now. As you can see here, I have 52,000 infantry being trained, 22,000 cavalry, 22,000 archers, and then I used a 2000 extender on my siege. That was actually by accident. I didn't mean to do that, but that's totally okay. I, I don't really care about my 2000s. I care more about the 20,000 and 50,000s. 
And so those are going to be found in your boost here. So I have another three here that I might be using for the pre-KVK. Might also use those for the upcoming Zenith Power event, which is also going to be a great one if you're trying to push power. The Race Against Time is also going to be giving you some snowmen, and so be on the lookout for that. It's going to be coming in a couple of days. And then Thief, the, Thief in the Night, if you guys remember that from the last time it was here, that's when we got a ton of gold. You went around a Sanctum, so similar to the Lost Temple. Anything that has this little marker here on it, where you can get runes and and defeat the guardians, that is going to be the, where the Thief of the Night is. So it's going to be anywhere where you see this little marker. So there'll be one right over here as well. And so it's going to be going around in a circle around the shrine. And you're going to try to put as much damage as possible on it. And that is how you get these rewards. So you can get a legendary commander sculpture. You can get materials. You can get resources, speed ups. Um, I know that I got a ton of gold doing it last time. And so that's really great for people who are T5 or to get more gold. But as far as I know, I didn't see anyone who got the legendary heads or the legendary choice chests. Um, I had, I think most people just got, uh, I think most people got smaller increments of rewards. I don't really know how you can get the highest ones, or I don't know if they're going to bring up a tier of how many, how much damage you need to do in order to get the highest tier. I know they didn't do that last time, so I'm hoping they implement that this time. That way you can kind of see how much damage you need to do. But people who are in the Season of Conquest, KBK, in the KVK currently are going to be able to do much better in this event just because you have all the crystal tech and just because you have all the crystal tech damage that is going to be working in your favor compared to people in KVK2, KVK1, KVK3 or even just in the home kingdom like I am that is going to be a lot harder to get those highest tier rewards so I'm hoping that Lilith does something in order to kind of combat that as we go. And then one other thing I wanted to talk about when it comes to grinding up barbarians is the gems that you get with it. And so just from AoE barbing, I didn't spend any extra action points on this. In the last day, I've saved up 710 gems just from barbing, so I can use those up. That's 700 gems already. And so that makes my total for the snowman less than f less than 6,000 since I already got two or since I already got 1,000 back here. And so now that brings my total to about 5,300 gems. And then these are gems from the Kirok event that just ended. If you guys didn't watch my video on how to beat the Kirok event, next time it comes around, feel free to check that out in order to max out the Kirok event. So I can use these up. It's 2,000 gems there. And then my 1,000 gems right there. I already got another 3,500 gems back on the 7,000 that I sent. So I've already gotten half my gems back that I've spent. And I already got my five legendary commander sculptures, I got materials and stars as well already. And I'm going to be getting more legendary commander sculptures, more stars, even a 50,000 reserve for training troops, and then even more gems. So that is why this is the best event for your gems possible. And as you can see, it does last about a week. So you have plenty of time to grind out barbarians and resources. So that is why I say you do not need to spend in this event in order to max it out. I've done it many, many, many times. Basically, every time it's come out, I've been able to max it out free to play. And so if you guys have any questions on how to max that out, besides what I covered in the video, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. Otherwise, you guys have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.